Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch this game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. Just restart your computer once. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then select browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now open the game folder and then once you open the game folder over here you can see start protected game make a right click on start protected game and then go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box over here and then select windows 8 from the list hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here still not working then again make a right click on the start protected game and then go to properties and then again go to this tab and this time select Windows 7 over here. And then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working, then at the top here you can see Armored Core 6, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then put a check over here and then you can select Windows 8 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again, this time select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK and then make a double click, launch the game and then check. So launch the game from the game installation folder. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can go to browse local files once again and go to properties. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK. And then again, make a right click on this. Go to properties, uncheck these boxes. And then hit apply, click on OK. And then follow the next step. Now the next step is to update Steam. To update Steam, you can go to Steam. At the top, click on Steam over here. Here you can see the option which is check for Steam client updates. So click on it. If there is any update, let the update complete and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to uninstall Process Lasso. Now if you have this application installed in computer, you can uninstall it. Now after the uninstall, you can restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still you are facing the problem. The next step is to set Windows resolution to 1920 into 1080p. So you can open Windows settings and then go to system. Now go to display. Now over here you can see display resolution. So if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p and then you can launch the game and then check. You can even try a recommended one. So either you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can select recommended and then check. For many users, selecting 1920 into 1080p has worked. So you can try this. Now the next step is to update Epic Games Launcher. Now if you have Epic Games Launcher installed in computer, you can go to settings so on the top right here you can see a profile i can click on it now go to settings if there there is any update you will see an option restart and update so click on restart and update and once it is up to date now you can check or you can even uninstall epic games launcher and then launch the game so you can just type in epic games launcher over here if you have it installed then you can uninstall it restart your computer and then check now still you're facing the problem please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the next step is to verify the game files. To verify the game files, go to Steam. On the top, click on library and then find the game in the list. Make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then allow the game exe file to Windows security. To add the game exe file to Windows security, open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. 
Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder, open the open your drive and then open open program file 686. Now open the steam folder. Now open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file in your game folder. So you can check all the game folder. Uh, there might be one or two exe file. You have to add the exe file game exe file and then click on open. And once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. You can do the same thing in firewall. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to system and security Windows Defender firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Again, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. Open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, click on add. And once the game is added to the firewall, now you can click on OK and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view and then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users can also go to AMD website, but first of all, uninstall the current driver which is installed in computer. So uninstall the current graphic card driver, then restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card and download the latest graphic card driver, install it and then restart your computer and then you can check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. To run the game on dedicated graphic card, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings. Now over here click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file. Now once you add the game exe file, now you can find the game in the list. This is just an example. Once you find the game in the list, you can click on this down arrow and then select high performance and your graphic card. So select your graphic card over here and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Win Windows settings and then go to Windows update, then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and x64 version. So click on it and then run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and then download this x64 file as well. Click on it. Again, run this exe file. So click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to 
unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, or any kind of USB adapter, dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor and then check. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. So to disable Steam overlay, go to Steam, go to library and then find the game in the list. Make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game so if this is on turn this off and then check also if you have any other overlay application like discord or geforce experience running so if you have discord running you can go to discord settings go to game overlay over here and then on the right hand side here you can see enable in game overlay if this is on you can turn this off and if you're using GeForce Experience on the top right, click on the settings icon and then over here you can see in-game overlay. You can turn this off and then check. Now, also if you have any other overlay application, then you can turn off the overlay in that application or you can simply close all the overlay applications. So if you have any overlay application like I have Discord, you can close it. If you have GeForce Experience, close it. Any application, Close all the overlay application and third party application as well. So if you see anything running over here, you can just close it. Also close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner running over here, make a right click, close it. If, have, if you have Revert Tuner running, you can close Revert Tuner. Perform Clean Boot. Now for this type in System Configuration in Windows Search Box and then click on System Configuration and go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. Make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. In my case, this is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So put a check over here, then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on okay. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB, so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. 
one. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now, the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available in software and download page and download and install the BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Then update the system BIOS and during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, in that case, you can switch to window mode and lower down video settings. Like if the graphics preset is set to ultra or high, you can set it to medium or low quality. You can even try to turn off the V-Sync, turn on, turn off or turn on the V-Sync and then check. So try to make changes in the graphic settings. So try to lower it down and then launch the game and then check. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to D, uh, C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check.